time to get into the stuff that you have all been waiting for. The results. Hi guys, I'm Cassie and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It was a long time in the making, but I think it was worth the wait. And I think everyone that's watching it right now is gonna love it. I tried Alexis Ren's 10 minute ab workout and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my results and what I went through and what the whole process was like. If you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to go down below and subscribe and like this video to show me that you liked it because I plan on doing a lot more of these videos just to challenge myself and hopefully motivate some of you guys to try it out as well. If you guys have any suggestions on what types of challenges you want me to do, just comment down below and I'll try it. But with all that being said, let's just get into the video. So at the beginning, it was really hard and difficult to get through the whole workout without stopping because Alexis goes nonstop for 10 minutes. And my form was really, really bad, as you can see. I actually used to be a competitive cheerleader, but I quit about like seven months ago and I had a decent amount of core strength back then but while trying these exercises it was obvious that that had all gone away and I'm left with nothing. I just finished the one week mark. I did cardio at the gym and I forgot that I had to do this so I did literally an hour of cardio and then I had to come back and do this and that's why I'm so red, it's not because of the workout. Here are my thoughts, kind of what has been going on, have I seen results? I am just gonna say that it's it has gotten harder every single day, it's gotten harder. Today was like really hard because I'm tired from the gym, so tomorrow and Sunday I don't go to the gym, so hopefully it will get easier. Um, results, I, I honestly, I don't see anything, I don't see any results. But that's because I literally have like a layer of fat over my stomach. So I don't think I'm going to even see any results unless I get rid of my fat, which that's not going to happen in one month. So, but yeah, that's going to be it for the one week update. I'll see you next week. The second week wasn't that great for me. My form was a little bit better than it was the week before, but I still wasn't pushing myself hard enough. And I still couldn't do the full workout without stopping, so there was no way I could get better at it. And it was kind of just really unmotivating. Okay, hi guys, it is the two week mark. It was getting easier than the week before, but it still wasn't easy. It was kind of that whole week, it was just staying the same. I wasn't really pushing myself as hard and I was just doing like the bare minimum. Hopefully next week I'll be able to push myself more. Yeah, that's basically the end of two weeks. Two more weeks to go or like two weeks in a couple days or something like that. So yeah, finally, this week I was finally able to push myself enough to get better at the workouts. It was overall much easier, which helped me focus on my form so that the exercises I was doing were actually effective. And I also got new leggings for Christmas and they're really cute and I'm excited about them. So just look at them, they're blue and pretty. Everybody. It is the three week mark and basically I'm wearing the same outfit that I was wearing at my two week mark because I'm filming these on the same day because I forgot to film them last week. It has gotten a little bit harder but that's because I'm pushing myself more and actually trying to do the workouts full out and do all of them out once like not without taking any breaks and I finally did it today for the first time. I went all the way through no breaks and doing it the best form that I possibly could have so that's really awesome and I'm really excited. We're almost done. Week, one more week to go in a couple of days. The last week, bro, the last week. This week was pretty good. I kept working on my form and I was able to go through the entire workout every single day. So that's super exciting.
but bro, look at my plank though. It's so much better than the beginning. Like I put a plank video in at the beginning and a plank video in at the end and they're so different and I could actually get through the plank. So, the 30 days are over and I'm here to give you a little bit of the details on what went on and most importantly to give you my results which aren't that drastic by the way but we'll talk about that in a second. So my main goal for this challenge really was just to gain a little bit more core strength back because I lost a lot of it after I quit cheer and also just to see if I could do it and stick to something and accomplish something especially because it was the beginning of the new year and it feels really good to accomplish something right off the bat. I personally love the idea of keeping my body and my mind healthy and I don't really think I've been doing a great job of that recently so I just thought this would be a fun way to kind of get back into the swing of things and get back into fitness. If you are thinking about doing this challenge, do it. It's so rewarding to see your results in your before and after pictures and just to like complete something it feels so rewarding even if you don't see that major results if that makes any sense. But now that I'm done talking about all the boring stuff, it's time to get into the stuff that you have all been waiting for. The results. Now before I show you the results, I just wanted to say that my results are very slim to none, which I was expecting because in order to get abs, you need a really, really low body fat percentage and I just don't. And it's pretty much impossible to get your body fat percentage low enough in 30 days to have abs. So I wasn't really expecting to get Alexis Ren's tiny waist and Alexis Ren's abs. But my body fat percentage is what I'm going to be working on next, so abs, here I come. But anyway, here are my results. I do, however, notice a little bit more definition, especially on the right side of my stomach, which means I obviously need to get better at working on my left side, but whatever, or obliques, I don't really know what they're called, so I'm not a professional. I also might see that I'm a little bit smaller, but I really couldn't say because I forgot to measure my waist before this challenge. I wish I would have done a before and after measurement, but it's fine, oh well, I'll do it next time because I feel like that would have given me more of an idea of how much my body has changed. And all in all, I just feel a lot slimmer in my stomach and my waist, even if I don't look at it, I just feel like that. I am super proud of myself for my results, even if they were kind of small, and I'm overall just really, really proud that I was even able to accomplish this. I never thought that I would be able to. Even though it doesn't seem that hard, it is kind of difficult to do something consecutively for 30 days straight. Like, it's a little bit difficult, okay? All right, I think this is gonna be the end of the video. Don't forget that everyone is different and if you try this workout for 30 days, your results may be different from mine and that's okay. Also, don't feel like you have to do this workout or that you have to have abs because honestly, you are perfect just the way you are and you don't have to change a thing. Thank you so much for watching this whole video <laughs> to this point. Um, I appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it. Subscribe down below and comment down below anything you want me to know. And I'll see you guys all again in my next video. Bye! I really want everyone to follow me on TikTok because my lifelong dream is to be famous on TikTok. So please, follow me. My at is Cassie.Nero. Please follow me. Please, you will not regret it.